I'm Casey, and this is Brett. We decided to buy an old school bus, named her Juniper, and started converting her into our tiny dream home with our three beautiful kids. This is our son Malcolm, our daughter Charlie, and our son Jack. Come on in and enjoy the bumpy ride. finally made it out to um, going out to the bus again to put some sheet metal on so we will see you out there So yesterday we packed up our two big windows that we have, they're 60 by 30, and we brought them down to where the bus is at so we can have them here for when we're ready to put the windows in. We kind of game planned of how we want to put the windows in. We also got some measurements on what we're going to be doing today and kind of get a game plan going so we're just not like what do we do now so that really helps it'd be better just to cut that lip off not to mention, not to mention this right here that was fantastic that part. uh huh whoever whoever cut the back i didn't cut the back or the front who did that that was probably me that was probably me <laughs> You missed the hole, Andrew. That was it looked like it was all the way in. Did it not? It, it was stayed for a in minute. It. Yeah. It worked for a minute. <laughs> that was funny. I wish I could use that. Oh, are you rolling? Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the first step that we have to do is we have to cut this lip off. Shut up! I don't, I don't need to hear it. Okay. Well, that uh, you had you had what you worked with. Okay. You know what you get when you give me a tool and tell me to cut a straight line. Yeah, that has half of its teeth. Just gives you most character, just like that. <laughs> yes. And then after we cut the lip off, we have to take all these rivets out so we can reuse those holes and put new rivets in as we put in the sheet metal, just like we did on the sides of the walls. If you didn't see that, I'll link that up here for you. measurements and we will start cutting sheet metal and getting that ready to go. I got that or not. <laughs> That's about where that needs to be. Go to the that seems to be, that seems pretty good. And then we'll have to bend that around, right? The corner. Is that the piece that's getting bent? Mm -hmm. Let me get a hoya. 
I'd rather go behind. I can't. We can't. It's part of, it's part of this. Mm hmm. Just slide that corner up. Okay. Okay. It's fitting. Okay, well, we're lined up right there at the bottom corner. So now we just. What's your thought process on bending it? I don't. This needs to go off. <sighs> no. No. about yourself Cause I don't need any more help to fall for you I think we need to come down on this corner just a little bit. Well, it'll probably come, well. Cause that corner needs to come out up there. Yeah. Round. Come down a little bit. I do? Yeah, just a hair. Oh! oh. That's more than a hair. <laughs> That's how we make it move. That'll work. Ouch. Is that through? Yeah, that's through. So that's the end of this episode. Uh, we finally figured out how to get that piece of sheet metal in and on the corner. That took forever and a lot of MacGyvering. Um, but we got it in. It's all riveted in and sealed and ready to go. So now we know what to do for the next corner. And hopefully we can just replicate the same thing and do the front as well. But getting closer and closer to having it fully enclosed again and we'll see you in the next vlog.